Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm going to respond to some of your comments that you have shared with me either on your video or through email. And I want to recognize some of the very important comments I think that have been shared in my recent videos. All right, specifically, let's start with the Cameron Boyce video. Cameron Boyce was an actor that died very young and very suddenly. And if you haven't watched that video, or if you don't know who Cameron is, I'd encourage you to watch the video to get to know his spirit vibe a bit. His energetic, dynamic spirit really is inspiring. So I wanna to speak to the overwhelming comments that have been pouring out on the video. So, so many of you were obviously very impacted by his death. And I know he was very young and it was very sudden, so these two factors can really shake us to our core. And for those of you who are fans, I know it affects you in such a deep way. And so please know that you are simply grieving. You are in a grief process. I guess there's nothing really simple about it. Grief can be very, very complicated, actually. There are many stages of grief and you did not have to know Cameron personally in order to feel the loss and in order to enter into a cycle of grief. So I would encourage you, if you are grieving this loss, to choose healthy options to help you work through it, just as you would in any kind of a loss process or a grief process. There are so many resources that are available to you free online. If you look up on the internet, there's free counseling available. There's information about the stages of grief. In many places, if you're a high school or college student, there are free counseling services. And I and in employers, oftentimes employers and companies will offer counseling as part of their healthcare plan or just their wellness plan. And again, if you're not, none of these apply to you, look online for some free crisis counseling. Now I know, I know some of you are thinking, yeah, people are gonna think I'm nuts because I'm so sad because he died. Well, you don't have to, you have to recognize that it's not just that. It's not just because Cameron died that all of a sudden now you're having these depths of emotions. Yes, Cam was a catalyst. He opens you up so that you would feel the feelings that already have existed within you. And so the encouragement to seek counseling or seek support of others is because there are emotions and feelings within you based upon your unique human life experiences up to this point that are now ready to be released. They're ready to be cleared, they're ready to be healed, and in order to do that, you need to what? Reach out for resources. You cannot go this alone. This is not intended to be alone. Now, oftentimes with grief, grief will trigger so many other things, emotions within you, and so that's what you get counseling for, is all these other emotions that are coming up. Feelings of anxiety or worry or feelings of questioning your own life and where you're at, your goals, what you want to do with your life, how you've impacted people, if you've shared your gifts. There's a lot of questioning. What's my purpose? Why am I here? What should I be doing with my life? It doesn't matter what age you are. You could be 12 and asking those deep questions. 16, 18, 21, 25, 30, 40, 46, <laughs> 55, 63. It doesn't matter what your age is chronologically. You are feeling a connection, you have an opportunity. When Cameron transitioned, oftentimes this happens with famous people, you guys. Whether you were a mega fan or not, it can open up opportunity for you for healing, for your own healing. So I hope that you will recognize that when you're watching the channeling video, that there is a point here. He is serving you in the afterlife, encouraging you to live your best life. And in order to do that, you've gotta be healthy. You've gotta focus on your wellness. You've gotta recognize that you have emotions and feelings and those are valid. You do not have to explain to other people because they won't understand. And if they, if they do, great. If you have a community that understands and that you can talk to and your fans with that are other people that are fans of the same person that you really resonate with, in this case, Cameron, for others, maybe Freddie Mercury, others, Prince, for example, great. But not everybody, in fact, most of you do not have that. And I know it. 
I know. I know it. So I encourage you to be an advocate for your spirit, to really give yourself the love and the appreciation and the adoration that you are giving to Cameron through the afterlife. You can do this life thing, you can do it, and hopefully he will serve as a light for you, as a beacon, to encourage you to really do the best you can in your life, help others when you can, be a good, kind-hearted person. These are wonderful attributes. And if you haven't watched that video yet, you gotta watch it. Watch that channeling video with Cameron and you'll feel what I mean. You'll feel what I mean. That's how we connect you guys is in emotions. That's why it's rocked your world. And I understand that can be uncomfortable. That can be unsettling. And I do wanna encourage you again, reach out, talk to people, talk to a counselor. You don't have to specifically talk about the way you're feeling about Cameron, just talk about your feelings in general. Talk about your feelings in general. Give them a place to just release from you and your body so you don't feel heavy or depressed so that you can see the transition from the energy that he has brought through now as an afterlife spirit guide recognize recognize that as a gift for you now and that you have the courage then to transition your emotions and give yourself permission to drop in to clear out that heart space so that you can you can just really honor yourself and who you are and by clearing out the heart space i mean being open honoring your feelings other people may not understand they just may not and it's okay it's not their job to understand but there are places fan groups and places like this that you can share your feelings and comments and other fans will 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 connect with you and understand and be able to support you but i also encourage you to get support in your real life and get counseling deal with your own emotions and your own feelings that have been buried that now all of a sudden are open everything gets revealed during times of grief, it's an, it's an upheaval. It kind of flips everything over and you ask the big questions about life. And that's natural, that's natural. All right, so I am going to respond to a specific comments, um, a specific comment that I got. I wanna read this to you. This is from uh, recently graduated from college. Congratulations, Jonathan, who sent me this, um, this beautiful letter about about his experience connecting with that Cameron energy. And, and he had a question that I'm sure many of you will have. So I wanna, I wanna share this with you. All right, and congratulations on recently, recently graduating from college. That's a big accomplishment, good for you. All right, so here's what Jonathan says. He says, I have been feeling really emotional with regards to Cameron Boyce's death. I had never been a fan or even heard of him before he died. But something, something about him resonated with me. He seemed to have everything going for him and then suddenly his life was cut short. He, his personality was bubbly and energetic And then he talks about, um, Jonathan shares about how he's feeling the pain of his family and the loss that his family must be, must be going through and, and connecting to that and being sympathetic to that, compassionate toward that, which I'm sure many of you are, right? <sighs> he says, we share many parallels on, in our human lives and we were both at the same stage in life as young adults with endless possibilities to choose from. Now that's beautiful, you guys, endless possibilities to choose from. You have that. If you wanna connect with a legacy and carry on a legacy from Cameron Boyce, if you are truly a fan, this is a way to do it. Connect with endless possibilities that you have to choose from. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for that. That's a beautiful reminder, very beautiful. So Jonathan's question is this. How do you overcome death, regardless of whether the person was a celebrity or not? Hmm. How do you overcome death? There really isn't a need to overcome it. 
It is a natural part of the cycle of our lives, just as birth is. There are so many transition points in our life. Every one of us experiences life and death in different ways. So death is just simply a transition. And in this case, it provides us with an opportunity to look deeper at ourselves and reflect upon our human lives as we are leading them. That's a gift. The fact that someone else's death, their departure from their human life, impacts you so much, it is because it is an opening of opportunity for you to reflect upon your life as you have the gift to live it now. That person doesn't, but you do. You do. So I think that part of the question that Jonathan is asking here is about the healing process as well and how, how do you just like get over that? Well, you don't just get over it. It's not like a cold and you take medicine and you let it, you know, you take all your medicines and all that. Well, maybe I guess in some ways it kind of is. It's not something, it's something that's natural. It is totally natural to have feelings and emotions and not be able to just simply make them go away. And that's not the intent. The intent is to feel, and I know that's hard. I know it is. I know it's difficult, it's uncomfortable to feel, especially when you feel lost and that's what happens. It feels like a gap. And then all of a sudden you have in this quiet opportunity to look at yourself. You have to, you are forced when there is a death to look at yourself. There is a, an inevitable moment where you have to look at your life and you have to question, who am I? What do I want to do in this life? What, what kind of contribution am I making? Who am I? And then you have the ability to create, to shift, to change, to make the best and the most out of life and what it has to offer. It truly is a gift. And we question our own mortality when we hear of a death, especially when someone is young, especially when it doesn't make any sense. And those are natural things, okay? So it's not about hurrying up and getting over the death. It's about looking at it as just a natural part of life, a transition and recognizing, recognizing the message, the message and what it means for you. What does life mean for you? Because death is the end, the ending of this story in your life experience. It's the end. So before you get to that point, what does life mean for you? What does it mean for you? What do you want? What kind of experiences do you want to have? And start to make little changes, micro movements, tiny changes to be healthier, to be more connected, to give yourself the opportunity to notice just the little simple things. You don't have to do massive things. You don't have to be famous and write an incredible book or a movie or be a, a musician. You can live your best life your absolute best life and share the gifts that you have in so many different ways. You have so many opportunities every day, so many, if you're able to see them. And sometimes when there is a death, there's an opportunity to look, to clearly see, to take off the rose colored glasses and clearly see your life, clearly. It's not about comparison, it's about the opportunity. And as our friend Jonathan said, endless possibilities, endless possibilities to choose from. It doesn't matter what age you are, how big of a fan you are, all of this applies to you. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for your comments, the beautiful comments that you've left on the channel with Cameron about how it's helped you and supporting you on your journey. Just know that I am totally cheering you on. Give yourself time, give yourself care and treat yourself with the kind of love and respect and devotion that you are aiming at Cameron right now. Recognize that in your heart, all right? Thank you so much for being here. I hope this video has inspired your spirit and filled you with hope. This is your life now. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.